all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to a pvp tutorial video this one is a basic pvp build so what i've done here is i've made a build for you so there's no duped pa no duped bobbleheads books or anything like that um it's going to be no suppression of the serums i'm not even going to tell you what serums to use that's all for you guys to figure out but what i've got here is the foundations for your own build and then you can work on it from there so for the armor i'm running xo1 here you'll see why in a second so we've got calibrated shocks on the legs we're running assassin's fire assassin's cryo assassin's endurance weapon weight reduction obviously ideally one another poison piece there but this is just from drops from uh, mutated party packs etc you know expeditions it's just been pieced together over time um, assassin's cryo break slower and another assassin's cryo piece there so i have free cryo uh, one fire and endurance for the, the chest mod we have a stealth boy so we're able to crouch you can get all these plans from the enclave in the bunker there I chose the stealth boy one because it's just you know you ain't going to be using mass produced stealth boys if, you, if you're just doing this casually so the guns I'm using here is an anti-armor aim damage reload LMG Executioner's fire rate correlator, the quad fire rate correlator, and a vampire's explosive minigun. I am planning on changing this one out for a TSE one. It's just more for shits and giggles. It's not really going to do much damage, but you know, like I said, it's just for fun. Okay, so here's the perk cards that you're going to want. I'm using blocker rank two, all the freeze and the heavy gunners, traveling pharmacy. Awareness, Life Giver, Ghoulish, Solar Powered, Fireproof, Lone Wanderer, Build Surgeon, Strange Numbers, Suppressor, and Tenderizer. First Aid, Stabilized, Dodgy, Covert Operative, Bloody Mess, One Gun Army, Class Freak, Curator, and Starch Jeans. The legendary perks that I'm using, it's going to be follow through, funky duds, two of the specials, taking one for the team and sizzling style. The main thing with this build is for sneak. So this is where the stealth boy comes in handy here. You also, you won't have to pop stealth boys all the time as well with this, this mod on. Um, like I said, this is kind of just like a basic, you're not meant to be a sweat, you're not meant to be killing those top dudes with this build but you're just meant to be having fun and you know you are going to be taking out most of the uh, ordinary players with this build what you want to do say crouch uh, and get your shots in spam jump spray like that so you can go and get the food buffs down at nuka world for cheap for caps if you don't want to consider using yasmin i mean you can use yasmin with this build you can use whatever you want to i'm just advising if you're trying to start off and you don't really have the resources to spend like that that's not something that you really want to be focusing on um, but if you've got yasmin at your camp preferably use her over the nuka world food buffs but you know like i said we're going for quick easy options here we're not looking to do this whole try hard thing here all right so we've got monkey here using a crackly mic <laughs> so we've got monkey here he's using a furious cry later he's bloodied out so he's going to be hitting quite hard i'm going to show you that he's able to tank it with just super stims and a couple of cryo pieces so whenever you're ready monkey fire away so that's one stim you can see my health is barely flickering there Yeah, if he uh, hits me with a couple of bats crits, I should be able to tank that as well. So we are frozen right now, so obviously you know the trick that I've taught you guys with this. So what you'll do, there was a couple of crits there. You switch weapon, 
Ah, switch back. Lovely. And then, you can see that does quite good damage for someone who's bloodied. For just a normal, a normal quad there. One tens to the head. That's crazy. There you go. See, so just stimming through it. Stimming through it. So what most players are using is the Cryolator or Flamer um, or the Pepper Shaker. So you should be able to tank most of that with this kind of build. It'll be relatively easy. And you know Monkey's no joke. He knows his, his, his shit. So hopefully that helps you all out. Like and subscribe and see you in the next episode, guys. Peace. I'm going to be doing a monthly giveaway. This is what you could win this month. If you're interested in winning this and having a chance, just comment your PSN and comment with free giveaway.